Hey, hey geeks. geeks! So today is gonna be a geek battle. Better when you're stronger, okay. don't go. The theme today is gonna be all things Game of Thrones. Yeah. Rev and I are huge Game of Thrones fans. Oh um, yeah, big time. I want to go see IMAX, man. Yes, actually, yeah, we should totally do that. Yeah. Um, so we've both seen all of the show. Yep. I am currently reading the series and. I'm self-challenging myself to finish it, or at least you know get up to where I'm waiting for Winds of Winter, um, More before. Than yeah, we already know that. <laughs> before season five airs, um, I don't know if I'm gonna make it because I've been reading book one for like six months. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I think that's mostly because um, a lot of the beginning half of like book one, uh, most of the dialogue and a lot of the scenes were almost verbatim from season one so oh, okay. it's been a little harder for me to read it because i'm sitting there going i've already seen this yeah. i've already seen this repetition exactly but once i got to the point where um it was like oh wait this scene wasn't in the show then my uh reading pace picked up so oh, I'm, okay. I've, I've got high hopes because i know they've cut out quite a bit sweet, um sweet, sweet. so um to start off uh we were going to be talking about okay if you could be in any house um what would it be? And the thing is, Rev and I already know we would both be in the same house. We would both be House Stark. Yeah. Go Dire Wolves. Yeah. Um, so we really can't argue about We can't this. really argue about that. Now, granted, we do differ on um, if we couldn't be a Stark and we had to be a member of a different house of Westeros, yes. what would it be? And I would probably be a Targaryen. White hair, dragons. Yeah, the 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 dragons. Um, plus, it's kind of a hodgepodge, fifty fifty on whether you get to go crazy or not. Uh, yeah, no, that's <laughs> you know. True. But I, I dig I dig the dragon thing, um, and there's so much lore about them um, after Aegon's conquest oh, yeah. uh, about the d different kings and Aegon the Conqueror. Me being. Me, I love uh, personally doing, um, like, delving into, like, English history um, a lot. And so being able to go back and trace lineages is kind of a cool thing. Yeah. So, okay. yeah. Um, plus, I just love dragons. Well, dragons. Uh, yeah, yeah, dragons are awesome. So. Okay. Who, I, who, who did you pick? I picked House Baratheon. Why? Because they smashed a Targaryen in the chest. <laughs> oh, see, now we got a bat. A big old hamel. And a hamel. So, uh, okay, of the three brothers, St uh, Robert, Stannis, and Renly, who would you pick out of the three? Uh, hands down, Robert, because Stannis is crazy. You think Stannis is crazy? Even though I a robot think... loves Stannis, we all know that on Comic Book Girl. Yes. Okay. Shout out to Comic Book Girl. Uh, yes. You're awesome. <laughs> keep, keep up the chaos. Um, now... I, I don't think Stannis is crazy. I think Stannis is misguided. Uh, yeah. He, he's being misguided by, by somebody him. with an agenda. Yeah. I, I think he's looking for anything that will further his own agenda. Yeah. And at the moment, that happens to fit. But I don't necessarily think that's going to keep happening. Uh, yeah. Uh, and Renly was just stupid to think that he'd win. Renly was... Uh, he was too young to actually be in this. Stannis, like, a lot of people don't realize that Stannis actually... Um, he's served, a good strategist. He is, and he's a badass because, yeah. I mean, he's he survived a year-long siege on himself and kept his men alive. Yeah. Until the point where they were darn near about ready to go cannibal. Yeah. Because I, I that's how bad it was. That until cool. that shit broke. And he's gotten kind of a raw deal. Yeah. Out of everything. And he's only a year younger than Robert. I, I, I like Robert because he's... Um, well, one, he's obviously... He was incredibly strong in his prime. Mm -hmm. Two, he, uh, he understands, um, like, brothers, even though if they're not of the same blood, him and um, Eddard, like, just brothers to the end, fighting side by side. And I think that's... It's for me. That's kind of like a military view in a way. Like mm -hmm. 
you that's what I was going to say. Create a bond with a guy that you mm-hmm. don't even really know, but it's you'll that, watch it. That band back. of brothers, never leave anyone behind thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so he, he, he's a loyal, strong per- character, but he's, he's got a little problem with spreading the, the peen around. Yeah, he didn't know how to keep that in his pants. Mm. Yeah. Um, hey. I think um, as a warrior, I think he was cool, but as a yeah. king, I think he kind of sucked. He was weak. Yeah. I think. Um, yeah. I don't Maybe. think he probably should have ever been king. He should have slapped Joffrey around quite a bit. Or figured out, dude, he got blonde hair. Right. All yeah. of the other Baratheons, and, they, and all, the whole of existence, have never had blonde hair. Blonde hair is a recessive gene. Yep. Um, <laughs> but, uh, okay. Uh, who's your favorite character? My favorite character? <sighs> People would think I'm probably crazy. I'm like all over the place as far as houses go. And that's Tyrion. Okay, Tyrion's my second favorite character. He gets, like, the best fucking lines. He, he does. He, he Peter Dinklage does such a great job with him. It's, his lines are awesome. And I'll admit that, like, the fact that he's he's super smart. By the way, lines are even better in the books. Oh, man. And... We're, I'm dude, getting you the audiobooks. He gets... <laughs> he gets all them fine ladies because he has nothing to risk. Yeah. And I'll admit, I, my, I myself is... I feel like he's like, no fucks given! <laughs> in, in my prime, I, I was a bit of a man whore. That I, so I can relate to just, I don't care. It's like, I don't care, I'm tapping that ass. Exactly. <laughs> no wonder you like Robert. Yes. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm, I'm not in my prime anymore. Yeah. Well, so far in the show, Tyrion is still alive. And as yeah. far as I know in the books, I think he's still alive, too. Yeah. And I know that he's... getting carded I, in that warlock box. Right. Thing. I know that he is um, Martin's favorite. Oh, is he really? Yeah. See, that's his favorite character, but that does not mean he can't kill be on him. the chop yeah. being block. Because that wouldn't surprise me if his ultimate sacrifice was well, killing off his own favorite character. And, and like you said, our, uh, George R. R. Martin is a, a huge history buff, so mm. that would be mm-hmm. something that happened way back in... Anyways, like, it oh, yeah. could be someone's favorite Well, like, soldier. a big part of stuff that he's drawing from is the War of the Roses, which was between House Lancaster and House York. Yeah. Which is Lannisters and Starks, pretty much. Yeah, in a sense, you know. yeah. Um, so, I mean, there's a lot of ways that can go. Um, <laughs> whoa! Oh, yeah, um, oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, he's my second favorite. Okay. And he's, of the ones currently alive, he's my favorite. So I, I I bet I could guess your probably favorite. <laughs> Go ahead. Daenerys. No. I what? can't. She's. Uh, I what? Can't, I can't stand her. A strong female character. You're not hopping I can't on board stand this train. Go. Uh, no, I am not on the Danny train. Oh my I god. I am not on the Danny train. Um, I would make a Danny train. <laughs> 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 There's no doubt about that. I, yeah, no, I, I can't stand Daenerys. I hope she doesn't get the Iron Throne. I I don't want to see her on it. I think, I don't think she's as strong as everyone thinks she is. I think she's just a little girl. Uh, I, I think you're giving I her think she's gr- I think she's, I think she's growing, yeah. and she is growing up, but I need, I need far more um, character growth. Before, okay. before I can buy even, into that apple. Before I can even remotely buy a ticket for that train. Okay. So she is. You fail. That is not my favorite character. Okay. Who is it? My favorite character was actually Ned. Okay. Ned Stark. I did. I did really like Ned, and I was honestly, I was quite pissed when they killed him. Right. Yeah. I. I. Like, I, I, I knew. Know. Like I figured it was coming because Joffrey was such a t- fucking turd burglar, but right. um. And I feel bad for Jack Gleason who played him because he gets so much hate and he is such the opposite yeah. of Joffrey, the character. Oh. He is like a super nice kid and he will never act again after this. It's <laughs> almost like a. Uh, it's Anakin like, guy. this is it and I'm done. Like, he, he's we're going. Watching, we're going to see the awkward interview. With that no, no, guy. no. I've seen, I've seen him actually giving talks. Oh, okay. Because I and didn't want it to be another he goes, Anakin he, he goes, Skywalker was, and he was, where he's like, No, no, no. He was saying it was a fabulous it? experience. <laughs> he was saying it was a fabulous experience. He goes, but he goes, I don't think I could ever um, act again because that's what all, always is going to be attributed to me, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's actually well known he's picking education over acting. 
which is cool. awesome. And That's cool. the fact that he is the exact opposite of the character he played, that means he played that character so well and so convincingly uh, that he is getting real yeah. world hate. Yeah, he, that was, I would I would have been a hard oh, God, role I wanted for me to, to play. I, 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 fuck, I mean, I can be evil. I but seriously, if I were damn. if I would have been like an extra in like that scene where it's where they're sentencing Sansa's uh, dire wolf to die, <sighs> which by the way, like I I I had to. It took me three tries. To I actually watch. The I had series. to like nudge you on. Come on, you gotta watch this know, Game of Thrones. Means you gotta watch it. Okay. <laughs> when he was like, it was your fault, and he was all a whiny baby. If I was an extra in that scene, I would have been like, Whoosh, <laughs> shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah. It's like you shut up. It may be the, the it's like, past and the old ages, but my hands just like y'all. Right? Just, <laughs> like, seriously, if I would have... Seriously, why didn't Robert just slap that shit out of him? Uh, I mean, uh, yeah. he verbally slaps him because he's like, you know, you let a girl do that to you. Yeah. You know, and he just kind of looks at him like... You know, but it's like, dude, he's a sniveling little pussy. Yeah, he... Yeah, oh, I got it. I hated that guy from the beginning, and they made they made it... I mean, he did an amazing job playing that fucking part, though. Oh, yeah, he... <laughs> Props to you, Jack Gleason. Yeah. I, I couldn't have done it. I I can't be the... He was just sinister, man. Mm. Sinister. I mean, he, he they showed him growing and it was just the classic... Yeah. Psycho. Uh, uh, sociopath. Psychopath. One of the two. I don't fucking I would remember. say more sociopath. Yeah. yeah but he, he just... He just... Woo! Um, but yeah, no. Ned was my favorite. Um, he was my favorite because um, he never lost sight of who he was. Yeah. Yeah, no, he, he... He was always true to himself. Corruption it, was it, thrown at him, and he still would not buy yeah, it. Yeah, and, he, and he, it cost him his life, yes. Yeah. And it set off all the events that led to almost our entire house being killed, pretty yeah. much, and yeah. split up. That's a true soldier, though. You but... Know, you know you're he stood in the for, right. Yeah, he Even stood for what was right. Everyone condemns you. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Would you have taken the wall? As... He, if he was legitimately offered that, if you were Ned, and you had death or the wall, I would have taken the wall because then at least he could have been withdrawn. And if it meant his children were returned to Winterfell, like Winterfell, it, yeah. yeah, it's like return my children to Winterfell. I will go to the wall. Okay, yeah, because I would have because he would he would have if I were John, and he would have if I were Ned. Yeah, and he would have served the wall with honor. Yeah. He and even like, of... and I and I remember in the books, because I've gotten to the point where um, it's after Ned's been taken captive. It's about the time when Rob's getting ready to march south. Yeah. And John's found out that his father, you know, has been taken. Yeah. And, or I should say, his father, <laughs> because I totally subscribe to the R plus J equal or R. Plus L equals J. Yes. Um, uh, and they're talking. I think he was talking to Mormont, the high commander or lord commander, um, about it. And he says, well, if he gives your father opportunity to take the black, which he should, we could use him. Yeah. We, we could definitely use someone like him. Oh yeah, because he could inspire like anyone around him. It oh yeah, felt like you know. Yeah, and it's in and and you Ned. need that on the wall. <laughs> Plus the fact, uh, history wise, like the history of Star House of Stark, he wasn't even meant to be the Lord of uh, Winterfell. Winterfell. Yeah. He um, kind of got forced into it. Yeah, and he was the quiet, shy one, and I was yeah. kind of the quiet, shy one in my family, and there's been a couple of instances where I had to make decisions that probably wouldn't have happened if my siblings had been around at the time. Yeah. You know? And so it's like, I can kind of relate to that. I, I'll admit, I kind of liked, I liked Ned because, it's so stupid, it's completely unrelated to the show. Completely. It's because he was awesome in Lord of the Rings. You love Sean Bean. Who doesn't love Sean Bean? Yeah. I love Sean Bean. <laughs> you, know I mean? you know, so like I would totally be one of the star kids if Sh Sean Bean plays Ned. Like fuck yeah, it's like yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get to knew it. Um, but yeah, no, I I would totally take that. Um, 
like I said, you know, uh, Ned was my favorite. Tyrion's my second favorite, and he's my current favorite because he's the only one alive right now that I like. Yeah, uh, yeah. I can't stand Daenerys. Um, my John's order kind goes of whiny. Right now as I go Tyrion, just because his lines are awesome. Tyrion's the shit. <laughs> Jon Snow is my number two. I, I'm waiting because I think he's got some great things coming, and I'm I'm excited to see that. I I kind of hope so because there's times he's so whiny, and I just want to slap him. And then Daenerys because well, Daenerys. one she's hot. And well, you know that just now dragons. And you named who is theorized by other fans to be the three heads of the dragon. That's right. That's true. I did watch some of the videos on it. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. right. I didn't do that intentionally. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. it's how yeah. yeah. No. Um, do you buy the um, Jon Snow theory about uh, yes. R plus L equals J? I do. Okay. For those of you not in the know, R I plus do. L equals J, which, by the way, if you're not in the know about this, you're, yeah, the, why are you watching? <laughs> uh, where have you been? If you don't know your lore, there's two places you can go. Yeah. And that's... I like, personally, myself, I like the way she explained his comic book, Girl 19. Yeah, she explains it very well. Um, there's, Spot on, man. Um, uh, Emergency Awesome has his own stuff, too. Yeah, I don't know if... I can't remember if he did the R plus L mm, I don't explanation. Think so. no. He's got a lot of really good Game of Thrones videos as well, though. Um, we'll, link, we'll link their channels below as yep. well. Um, um, but essentially what it is is... Uh, Ned's little sister, Lyanna, who was originally betrothed to Robert Baratheon, mm. um, the one he was in love with, you know, the one where he's, like, touching the face of the, of the uh, marble in, in the crypt. In the crypt. In, the, like, the first fucking episode. There. Yeah. And he's all pissed off, and it's like, she should be somewhere up in the sun, Stun. and blah, 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 blah. Yeah. And, and Ned's like, she's my sister, this is where she belongs. Um, and that's yeah. not the first time he's told him that. Yep. I can guarantee you. <laughs> and... um, pretty much how Robert became king was because a bunch of shit happened, and it was all kicked off by the fact that Rhaegar Targaryen, who was the crown prince of Westeros, uh, kidnapped uh, Lyanna. Mm. Pissed off Robert. I think he did like one of these, is what happens. He played his heart to Lily- Lily- Liliana. Is that her name? Mm-hmm. Okay. Liliana. And then the, did the white hair whip. And then the, the, the white hair whip, and she was all this is all you heard. Slap it, yeah. I mean, that's, that's honestly what happened. She rode the dragon train all the way home. Yeah. Dragon train. <laughs> she bought a ticket. Oh yeah. Oh, the long way round. <laughs> Two bottles of whiskey for the way. Right. Oh man. Um, but anyway. <laughs> Yes, we totally brought the cup song into this video. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> Your daughter would be proud. Uh, yeah. um, anyway, oh, so uh, <laughs> uh, so essentially, that's one of the things that kicked it off. Well, Ned's oldest brother, who was a total hothead, and he was supposed to be uh, the one to take over Lordship of Winterfell, yeah. goes to King's Landing... And it's like, what the hell? You know, Mad King Ares, your son totally, you know, jacked Jimmy. my sister. Yeah. And I'm hella pissed off. Well, Mad King Ares was like, oh, well, I don't care. I'm throwing you in a dungeon. Yeah. And then word got back to Lord Rickard Stark, who was their dad. And so yeah. he comes down with a bunch of his men. Or wait, I no, the, I got uh, that backwards. No, I think the Rick, dad, Rickard is the father. Yeah, didn't, yeah. Was, did the father go down first or did the, the son? No. Okay, so the father gets kidnapped first, the son goes down. Oh, yeah. And then, and then, the father gets kidnapped first. Like, the father went down and was like, hey, yo, my daughter's gone. Your son took her. And then the oldest son, once he gets thrown in the dungeon, oldest son comes down and he's like, yo, you've got my dad and your son's got my sister. What the hell's going on? And so a bunch of bullshit goes down. And, and Crazy Mad King Ares fucks up their t- shit. Tells him because you can pick a champion and Ares picks fire as his champion and burns the shit out of Rickard, 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 Rickard yep. Stark while his son has a blade just placed in front of him and he can't reach it because it's and he chokes himself to death choke device so he, he literally like kills both of them and yeah. so 
then he orders uh, John Aaron, who, as we know, at the opening of Game of Thrones, the TV mm-hmm. show, is dead. Yep. Um, he was the Hand of the King at the time. Yep, yep. The, of the show opening. Um, he orders John Aaron, who is uh, fostering Ned and Robert, to bring them down because he knows that some shit's going to start because of Robert being betrothed to Lyanna and Ned being the second son yep. of Rickard. And John Aaron says, fuck that shit. Yep. <laughs> and pretty much and raises his and banners sh- 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 and then Ned goes to the north, gets all of his banners up, his banner men up. Man. And then uh, Robert goes and gets all of his bannermen from the Reach. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Because they're the Reach. Yeah. I'm pretty sure they're the I Reach. I think so, yeah. I don't know. Okay. We're not, we're not Okay, down yet. in the south, I have a harder time remembering what's what. Because um, I can't remember the Reach versus the... Yeah. Anyway. Um, and then they... That's also about the time when Ned ends up marrying Catelyn. Catelyn was actually betrothed to his brother, who just got fucking strangled to death. <laughs> Um, so yep. he marries her out of a sense of duty and to also secure an alliance with the Riverlands. Yep. Also, this is when they needed, Liza... they needed them to take, to come down. Right. This is also when Liza the Nutcase fucking marries uh, John Aaron, which is kind of gross because it's like he's kind of like a old fucker. <laughs> That's a nasty man, old man yeah, balls. Yeah, old nasty wrinkly, old man, wrinkly balls. Wrinkly balls. <laughs> anyway. Um, so... They secure that, and then the war starts. Well, eventually, blah, 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 shit goes on. And eventually, you know, because Rhaegar and uh, Lyanna had disappeared off the face of the fucking planet. Nobody knew where they were fucking were. Yeah. And apparently, this entire time, they were, like, down in, like, Dorne at the Tower of Joy, like, on a honeymoon or oh, some yeah, shit. Oh, yeah, Tower of Joy, all right, with the red light on. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway... She was and so Rhaegar okay. finally is like, okay, fuck, I better go up and put a stop to this. He goes back up to fucking King's Landing at first, gathers up his men, and he straight up, and here's the thing a lot of people don't know or don't realize. He actually told, and I can't remember if it was actually Jamie or not, it was somebody. He told, actually told somebody, when I get back from this, a lot of shit's going to change. Yeah. And so that suggests to me that he was done with his dad's shit because if it hadn't been for what his dad did, a lot of this probably could have been solved without a oh, fucking massive oh, yeah, war. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I mean, that's one thing. If he was <laughs> in love with Lyanna, I'm sure they could have yeah. worked something out. Because yeah. it's not the first time a Targaryen had taken, like, a, a second bride. Yeah, because it was, I guess it was okay in that culture. Yeah. Out, well, like, but... the Targaryens did that, like, yeah. a lot. And they also yeah. wed, like, siblings. Yeah. Well, his wife, who was... Uh, from Dorne, one of the princesses of Dorne, uh, she was, uh, fuck, what was his name? Oberon's sister. Oh, yeah, it yeah, yeah. was his yeah. little sister. was yeah. his wife. Yeah. He, poor, he, poor he, Oberon. And, and the thing is, he, he didn't love his wife, but he treated her kindness and yeah, gently yeah. and treated her as she deserved to be treated. Yeah. But he wasn't, like, madly in love with her. No. And he doted on his children. Yeah. Like, he was a good father. Like, he would have been actually he, a really good father. He did what kid. a good father should have done. Exactly. That, yeah, a good man. Exactly. A good man. And he straight up told somebody, and I forget, I fucking forget who it was. I can't remember if it was Jamie or not. I keep thinking it was Jamie, because that was one of the reasons why Jamie went back to yeah. where the Mad King was. Well, um, and the Mad stra- King would want to, like, burn everybody. Yeah. yeah. And the, but he straight up tells him, you know, um, when I get back everything's going to change. And I'm like, dude, th- you know, th- that to me, that sounds like he's going to pretty much make his father, like, give up the crown. Oh, yeah. You know, because obviously this shit ain't kosher. But anyway, um, essentially, because of certain things hinted at in the books, it is highly suggested that Rhaegar and Liliana actually ran away together. Yep. It wasn't a kidnapping because Liliana was far more almost as wild as uh, Brandon Stark yeah. um, who was um, 
the older brother. She was like the wildest one of all of the uh, Stark children. Oh, and yeah. there's nothing that could have held her back. She was just as good a, with a sword as the boys were. You know, um, she could hold her own pretty much. And Hands it's, it's down. like pretty much there's no way in no hell. No was telling her what to do. Pretty much there's no way in hell she would have gotten kidnapped without somebody knowing about it. Yep. Um, <laughs> and so um, there's a lot of other crap that I'm not going to really go into. But um, essentially, they hooked up, and she died in childbirth, pretty much, of John. Yep. So technically, John is a Stark and a Targaryen, Targaryen. and could possibly be um, heir to the throne. Or um, the third head of the dragon. The prince yeah. that was promised. Yeah. One of the heads of the dragon. There's a lot of fucking prophecy bullshit surrounding John, but it all leads up to the right. Rhaegar. I hope they work Liliana. it all in, because it would be sick. Right. So. I, I, you know, there's the theory. Okay. Oh, here's a good one. I got a good one. Because this is going to be kind of a long video anyway, because there's so much to talk about. Yeah. Um, I got a good one. Hmm. What's that? Okay, so there's a theory that Tyrion is secretly a Targaryen. Okay. okay. Because of the fact that it was well known that Ares, Mad King Ares, who at one time was BFFs with Tywin, yeah. had mad thing for Tywin's wife. And uh, see, Tywin, it was said that the only time he ever smiled was when he was with his wife. Yeah. He was madly in love with her. Like, madly in love with her. But it's said that Ares had, had a thing. And it's and it's and it's and it's and it's suggested that he at one point somehow had his way with her, and that's why Tyrion was born because he's a dwarf. And in the books, like they don't show it as much in the show. Yeah. But in the books, he's got lighter hair. Yep. Than his siblings, so he's got almost almost that silvery blonde. Yeah, almost. He's yeah. got two different colored eyes. Yep. One that's like normal and one that's almost like violet. Yeah. Um, he has what's called dragon dreams. And supposedly that's something that only happened like he... To when he, yeah, yeah, when he was a kid he had dragon dreams and he's very interested in dragons. Oh, he wants yeah. to learn more. And supposedly that was something that only happened to those born to Targaryens. Or yeah. Blackfires, which are the bastards of Targaryens. Yeah. So there's there's that theory, but there's another side theory, and and it makes me kind of wonder. Oh, okay, a, mm -hmm. do you think that Tyrion is potentially a Targaryen, and Danny's half brother? Uh, you know what? I could probably buy into it as far as way is the, sh the show is painting him. Because he is so completely different than his two, his brother and his sister. Now, granted, they're, they're different for other reasons based on things they've been told and things they've had to experience. So there's you know, there's very specific reasons why they're different. But mm -hmm. he, he has an interest in all those magical creatures that the other two do not. Mm -hmm. You know. Well, here's another question I pose. Is he the only one? Uh, of the... The Lannisters, that could be? Because mm -hmm. oh. there's a potential for on... Because you, you know the... Um, I know. It the wedding be. night... You know the wedding night uh, first rites yeah. thing. Yeah. But it was back in feudal times. It's, it's suggested or rumored that Ares wanted to enact first, first right. Hmm with Joanna when Tywin got married to her. I don't know. I mean, uh, could be. Uh... Because think about it. Targaryens, there is a history of incest. Inc incest, yeah. And ancestral relationships, so it would not be out of character. Yeah. They do have similar features. True. So... You know, you wouldn't really be able to tell because yeah. they are blondes anyway. Yeah. Okay. It wouldn't be too much of a stretch. 
there is a history of madness. Let's face it, Cersei. That chick nuts. Cute, crazy. Cersei is fucking crazy. And look <laughs> at Joffrey. Cray cray. Fucking nuts. Yeah. Okay. And there's a 50 50 chance of, of the whole nuts thing because from the histories I've been reading and researching in the Targaryen line, it kind of flip flops almost like every king. Uh, just yeah. About. Like it kind of okay. goes back and forth. From the, I agree because I watched a lot of those histories. Yeah. Like yeah so. um, and um, a video I was watching recently, it's by a new, newer chick um, out there. I think her name is Rorist. Um, uh, or Rarest, something like that. I can't pronounce it right. I'm, my mouth is kind of. I feel right there. She's oh. doing an extensive like breakdown history of each of the Targaryen kings right now. Um, one of the queens or princesses or some shit. The name Joffrey is actually in the Targaryen line. Ah. I think Tommen is also. Oh, yeah, I know these things. Yeah, there's, cer- there's certain, like, if you look at naming uh, principles. Because yeah. think about it, if it's a familial name, it's more likely to come up again yeah. and be repeated. Yeah. Because that's, like, a mark of a dynasty. Yeah. That's why in, like, say, England, you're going to see a lot of Henrys, a lot of Georges, some Charles in there. Elizabeth. You know. Yeah. Um, Margaret's, Mary's, stuff like that. Um, and so it's kind of weird that she named her son Joffrey and Tommen, mm, yeah. you know. Huh, I never, uh, we'll see, I, I, I don't know. Uh, and twins were actually quite common in the Targaryen line as well. That's true. And twins are kind of, they Me. run in lines. Yeah. Like, if you have a line that doesn't often have twins you're probably not going to see that very often. But if it's something that's pretty common, you know, every generation or so, you're going to have a set of twins in there. That's true. Okay. You know? We'll see. I don't know. I never really thought... I never looked at that theory, so... Yeah. I mean, there's so many different theories, but I don't know if I subscribe to that so much, but I think it would be hilarious if they all were actually Targaryens. It would be interesting. It's like, how much of a bitch fit would all the people of the world, die, uh, Westeros, like, throw? Be like, oh, no, man. they're secretly Targaryens. Oh, my God, yeah. the world is ending. Too bad Tywin's dead to even find out. Uh-huh. <laughs> Either that or he knew. Jackass. But he couldn't handle the shame. Oh, well, maybe that's why he's so, you know, why he, he set, he set uh, impossible goals for them, because if they weren't his. Could be. You know, so, how about you? Could be, because... Let's face it, Cersei was not as smart as Tyrion, but Tyrion yeah. was the more outwardly deformed. Yeah. You know? <laughs> she deformed in the brain. Insane in the membrane. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Faux show. Sure. Uh, I can't stand the Lannister family. Like, Tyrion is the only worth it, and I hope that he's uh, not actually a Lannister. After watching the history of why Jamie the way he is, I, I kind of like Jamie a little bit more than I did before. I and that he's done some good things that he saved his brother in a, in a sense. So well, here's the thing, and I know a lot of this because of other videos I've watched. Because I'm obviously not there in the books yet. I'm not there in the books yet, but they did certain things in the show way differently than they did in the books. Like, for example, the controversial scene in the show where he essentially rapes Cersei over uh-huh. the body of their dead son. Yeah, that, yeah. It wasn't like that in the books. Oh, really? I mean, yes, they had sex in the set where Joffrey's body was. Uh huh. But. It was just forced? Well, A, it wasn't forced, it was consensual. Oh, okay. And it was also due to the fact that he wasn't there yet. He wasn't at the wedding. He had just made it home right then and there. Oh. And so it was like, thank God you're here. I need comfort. Yeah. Kind of a thing. Still gross because you're fucking right next to your dead son. Yeah. You know, what the fuck is wrong with you? But then again, it's like you're fucking your brother. So obviously there's a lot wrong with you. (laughs) But... 
Incest is best. Put your family members to the test. <laughs> I think I threw up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow. Oh, brother, how art thou? Oh, God, no. No, make it stop. Make it stop. But, anyway. <laughs> so, uh, it's, 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 it was a lot different tone in the books. Okay. In the books, it was far more consensual. It was more of an act of comfort. You know, it was desperation of, I, I'm here. I'm sorry. I'm too late. I, I couldn't, I couldn't be here to save him or protect him. Yeah. You know, or protect you, you know, from this hurt. And yeah. I've missed you. Whereas in the show, it was rapey as fuck. Yeah, he's like, you're going to take it. You're going to yeah. like it. It's like, I, no. This is, this is, this is how it's going to be. And I mean, she literally said no. Yeah. She yeah. literally said no. I'm like, no means no, motherfucker. No means yes. Sometimes. Shut up. If you keep knocking rev, at the door rev, long enough. Rev, rev. <laughs> No, that, that scene was, yeah, that no, scene that was pretty scene. rough to watch. Yeah, that scene was fucking rapey as fuck. That's gross. Um, <laughs> and then there's, uh, oh, what was the other scene? That was, like, so much different. Oh, uh, when Tyrion's in the Black Cells and Jamie comes to see him. Do you remember the story about Tyrion's first wife? Yes. And how she was supposedly just a whore or whatever? Yeah. He ends up finding out she wasn't. Oh, wow. That it was true love. And that Tywin... Screwed it up for him. Forced Jamie to lie and say that he'd hired her and that she was just a whore. And then she got gang-banged by... Or gang-raped by all the men. And they made Tyrion be the last one to do her. Wow. And he, messed up. when Jamie comes to see him in the Black Cells, Jamie confesses to him the truth. Yeah. And Tyrion loses his shit and says, pretty much, fuck you. No, oh, puppy! Ow! <laughs> he likes to bite my toes. <laughs> um, he wants to play. But, uh, you know, and Tyrion's pretty much like, F you. F this whole family. Yeah. I'm done with you. And then he goes and he fucking kills Tywin. Yeah. Which makes a lot more sense in the books. Yeah. I mean, granted, I still thought it was pretty fucking epic how he killed him on the shitter. That's so awesome. You know? I loved it. Two bolts through the, you know, fucking chest. Boop, boop. Like, boom, bitch. Go on now, sucko. Right? Oh, so, yeah. I mean, that was epic, but, I mean, it's so much different in books and so much more. So, I gotta get you the audiobooks. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. Since you I have Audible. Hmm? I have Audible. I just, yeah, just get them. Yeah. yeah. You'll probably make them through them faster than me. Probably. So... Oh. But anyways, we should cut this short. Um, we'll probably do another Game of Thrones battle video once we think of more stuff to talk about. Um, we are huge Game of Thrones fans. Yep, and once the show starts rolling again, we'll be reviewing those. Oh, yeah, we'll be reviewing those episodes. Not a problem. So um, I will probably be giving you guys updates on how I'm doing on the, on the books themselves and my general opinions. Yes, yes, um, yes. Uh, what characters I might like the... Um, uh, point of view of because he does write in each chapter is from a different character's point of view yeah. so it's kind of an interesting way to go i'm enjoying it so far um like i said though it was kind of slow in the beginning because it was just like the show so i kind of disadvantaged myself a little bit yeah. but now that i'm getting to scenes that weren't on the show um it's going a lot faster um uh we'll find out i'll see if i come up with any other theories of my own because i've heard some weird shit out there Oh, yeah. Um, and we'll discuss some stuff on here. That's right. uh, I know this was a longer video. Thank you for watching. Yes, um, please. Thank you. Like, subscribe. Um, we'll have some links below no. to other uh, channels cool. that you might enjoy. Yes. Uh, I think and that's it. I think that's it. Yeah. Long live House Stark! Winter Yay. is coming! Ah.